the Financial News Network, I'm Christy Duffy. Texas Instruments reporting fiscal third quarter results Monday. The chipmaker posted profits and revenues at the high end of their prior guidance ranges and beat Wall Street analysts' average expectations. Joining me to discuss TI's results is Macquarie analyst Sean Webster. Sean, how did the quarter compare against your own predictions? They reported uh, 71 cents, and we had modeled 70 cents, so they were a penny above our estimate for Q3. And um, there were a couple of moving parts, but the primary factor was a lower share count. Should investors be concerned about margins and rising inventory? Well, we're going through uh, inventory correction right now in semiconductors, and TI is going to be part of that. Um, they, it's just a matter of magnitude in terms of how weak the, the component ordering environment is for the next couple quarters. But uh, we do expect inventories to rise for them and others as we go into Q4 and, and into Q1. And did they give gross margin outlook on the call? We expect gross margins to tick down a little bit for Q4, primarily on lower revenue. Okay, Arm Holdings is winning 75% of Tablet 1.0 designs. What is TI doing to boost its position in the budding tablet market? Um, they're doing some incremental investments. They have a, a product that they call OMAP, which is their application processor family, and that's primarily in the smartphone market today. Um, they do have a, a win um, with RIM. Um, they haven't announced any others, but I know that they're working on using ARM-based application processors to go into the tablet market. They just haven't made any announcements at this point. What competition does TI face from China-based or other international companies? Is there any pressure on pricing as a result? Areas, uh, there's parts of their business that can have uh, some price sensitivity um, within the analog space and in, in the higher volume or commodity portions. They have about 5% of their sales, which come from more price sensitive segments. And so, depending on the supply demand dynamics, they can uh, see pricing and margin pressure in that part of their business. Does wireless continue to drive growth? Um, wireless, uh, yeah, I mean, for Q3, wireless uh, grew for them in both their connectivity business, which are uh, Wi Fi chips. Um, as well as their baseband business, which longer term is going away. Okay, and where do you see the stock heading? What's your price target? My target price, um, I took up to 29.80, primarily on market multiple expansion. Um, so that's the that's a one time the S and P multiple on my 2011 uh, estimates. I'm outperform rated. Thanks, Sean. Texas Instruments is now guiding for fourth quarter EPS of 59 to 67 cents on revenues of 3.36 to 3.64 billion dollars. For further updates, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is the Financial News Network. I'm Christy Duffy.